And one of the last things he did was to go around the complex boasting, yeah, I killed my wife, yeah, I killed my daughter. We begin with just a sad story tonight at eight. Three children are now without a mother after a tragic shooting this week. Police say the suspect is now facing two first degree murder charges for shooting and killing his estranged wife and their 11 month old daughter. Tonight, family is gathering to remember them both in our Kiara. Right now where the family just spoke. Yeah, Whitney, the family say this is a couple that's been together for 16 years. They knew it was an abusive relationship, but they say Lene was finally about to leave him officially. She was in talks with a lawyer, but that's when he killed her. It starts small words, small manipulations. You change the way you think of yourself. Lindsay Riley describes what she feels her twin sister, Lene Moten, endured during her 16-year relationship with Louis Moten III. It becomes physical. A backhand slips in front of your family, and when it's brought up, they must have misseen or misunderstood what it was they saw. Family says the pair were high school sweethearts, but as the abuse progressed throughout the years, the two separated in 2017. The husband would still come around to see their four children and try to work things out with Lene. But the years-long abusive relationship came to a tragic end on Monday. Police say Louis Moten went to see Lene at her home in Cove Apartments. Lene was holding her 11-month-old daughter Ava at the time, so she went to take her inside. That's when police say a single gunshot was heard. And Louis Moten III proceeded to kick down the door and shoot Lene and her baby girl, who were hiding in the closet. Lene's mother, Kathleen Wheatley, also lives in Cove Apartments. She says Moten would often say if he couldn't have Lene, no one could. And tonight, the family decided to share their story so other people will know to step yeah. in and help out if their family is in an abusive relationship. If it's their relationship, we're not going to get in the middle of it. No, we got to get in the middle of it. We have to stop this type of behavior. Police say that Louis Moulton III told them that he was suffering from schizophrenia. He heard spirits and aliens telling him to kill his wife, but he says he never intended on killing his daughter. The family has set up a GoFundMe page to help pay for funeral costs for Lene and Ava, as well as to help take care of the three surviving children. So if you'd like to donate, we'll have a link to you on our website at azfamily.com. Live in Phoenix, Kiara Hay, Arizona's family.